Sink finger nucleases or ZFN. What are they? How do they work? And why are they useful? That is what we will investigate today. Sink finger nucleases can be thought of as highly specific genome scissors. In other words, they allow us to cut a genome at a chosen place. A sink finger nucleus consists of a designed sink finger protein, or ZFP, fused to the cleavage domain of the FOC1 restriction enzyme. Why do I feel like that particular enzyme will be easy to remember? Anyway, let us take a look at these ZFNs in action. ZFN-mediated targeted genome e editing works in four main steps. First, the ZFN pair is delivered into the cell by transfection or electroporation. This is just a non-viral method for us to get the ZFN into the cell. Then, the sink finger protein part recognizes the target site. Then, the FOC1 part gets busy chopping, creating a double strand break and the broken part dissociates away from the DNA. Then one out of two things can happen. Option A. Either no repair template has been included and then the gene gets deleted in 1 to 20% of cases. Or option B. A repair template has been included and a foreign gene can be inserted instead in 1 to 20% of cases. So, in what ways can these ZFNs be useful? Well, as we just saw, sink finger nucleases can be used whenever we wish to delete or knock out a gene or edit it. So, this includes a lot of cases. With that, I hope you got a great introductory understanding to what sink finger nucleases are. If you remember nothing else, just think DNA scissors. That is basically what you need to know. You get far with that alone. In addition to sink finger nucleases, two additional often used gene techniques exist. These are Talon and CRISPR-Cas9. And I talk more about these in the videos that you can see on the screen now. With that, until next time everyone.